Hey guys, thanks so much for joining my channel today. It's your girl Faith, aka Shaded Beauty, and I am going to be showing you how I got this mermaid look. Um, disclaimer, I am new to Halloween makeup, so be nice. All right, here we go. So first thing that I am going to be doing is diving in and applying my foundation to my entire face. I use MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid and I mixed it with a little bit of the um, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and NC45 and the foundation color is NC46. Next I am going in with my Tarte concealer shape tape in medium and I am applying that under my eyes also on my brows and on my lid as well down my nose and on my forehead so just highlighting doing your basic highlighting and blending that in with a beauty blender and then coming in and blending out my eyes with a brush Next, I am coming in with MAC Translucent Powder, and I am setting every area that I highlight it with. Now for the fun part. I am going in with MAC Cosmetics Extreme Dimension Eyeshadow in the color Stylishly Merry, and I am using it to contour my face slightly and also kind of set some guidelines for me to follow for later in the video. I'm going to be putting a fishnet over my head eventually so I wanted some guidelines to go with when I am going in and applying my scales. So I am also coming down and contouring my nose with this powder as well. You see I went around the hairline and also um, in my under my cheekbones as well it is time all right so i went and i found some fishnet stockings and i am just putting them over my head and tucking them in the back the first color that i am going in with is going to be the darkest purple shade that is in the mac cosmetics pink Lux pearl fusion palette that is a mouthful and i am going in right up against my guidelines and i am just darkening them right along my hairline under my cheekbones and i'm also going to use the color to give a little bit of definition to my chin and then also right up along my jawline as well Next, I'm going in with the colors Can't Stop, Won't Stop and Get Physical, both or which are the Dazzle Eyeshadows by MAC. And I am just using them to meet up where I came in and did the guidelines initially and came in with the darker purple. Now I'm going in with the color Steamy and I am applying that right above where I apply the dazzle eyeshadows so the whole point is to kind of do a small gradient but you still want them to marry up where they left off so I just kind of go back into the previous color just slightly and then still come up a little bit in my face just to give a nice gradient so as you see I'm going in the exact same places hairline under my cheekbones jawline and then my chin Next, I am going in with Sushi Flower, and I am just going in, and I am applying it in between the darker purple color that I came in with, and then in between the Dazzle eyeshadows, and just to give it a little more definition. Next, I am going in with my favorite, favorite, favorite pigment of 2017 well at least i didn't discover it until 2017 it is the reflex palette by mac cosmetics i had to go to the pro store to get this because our store doesn't sell it but it is everything it is a white pigment that actually deposits with a little bit of reflective pink slash purple so it is perfect for this look and i am applying this on top of the colors that I've already previously applied so more so right on the inside of those colors so it's going to give a really nice gradient all right after we apply the pigment it is time for the reveal mm -hmm. yes so now it is time to give these eyes some life I am going in with the color that we also used in the 
scales called sushi flower again and i am just going in and applying this color to my crease and notice i am bringing this color up to my brows which then brings me to the attention i forgot to do my brows so that's why you see me stop doing my eyeshadow and give my brows some much needed attention first i'm going in with spiked eyebrow pencil and i am using that to define my brows i like to go in under um, my initial hairline and then on top and then just fill in from there i also wanted to give my brows just a little bit more color they were just a little too brown for me so I'm going in with a color called plum dressing and I am applying this color to the end part of my brow so coming all the way up into where my arch is is about as far as I'm going to come in with this color secondly in that pink Lux pearl palette that I was telling you about earlier I am applying that middle color and I am bringing this all the way into the inside of my brow just really giving them a little bit more of a purple tint so they're not as brown and now we come back to the eyes so now I'm using that exact same color that I just pulled through my brows plum dressing and I am applying that to the outer corners of my eyes and also bringing that under my eye as well The really good thing to note about eyeshadow, it's just a blending game for the most part. You can never blend too much. I take that back. If you're doing a cut crease, you can. But in this tutorial, you can never blend too much. Next, I'm going back in with the Extreme Dimension Eyeshadow in Stylishly Mary, and I am applying that to the inner corners of my eye just to give it a little more pop. And then I am coming in with the Dazzle Eyeshadow in Try Me On. I love, 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 love how vibrant this color goes. And to make it go even more vibrant, I used Fix Plus. What I did was I sprayed my brush and then put some of the eyeshadow on the brush and then I sprayed it again just to make sure that it would be highly pigmented once it was applied to my eye. And now I'm going in with another Dazzle eyeshadow called She Sparkles and just applying this to the inner corners of my eyes. Next I'm going in with the color Get Physical which is also a Dazzle eyeshadow and just applying that to the outer corners of my eye. Next, I'm going in with a color called Weirdly Wonderful, and it was part of the Flamingo Collection, and I'm just applying that under my eye. Next, I'm going in with NYX Liquid Liner, and I am just winging out my eyes and giving them a nice lineup <laughs> to get ready for these lashes that I am going to just pop on here. Next, I'm using Extreme Dimension Mascara, my favorite, my favorite mascara. One of my favorite highlighters, it is the Extreme Dimension Highlighter in the color Beaming Blush. It is everything. Now it's time for lips. I am going in with Beat Lip Liner and I am just lining my lips and just ensuring that I define my cupid's bow and just also be sure to color your lips in a little bit with the liner. We don't want any harsh lines, ladies. Then I am coming in with the Retro Matte Liquid Color in Recollection and just applying that to my lips as well. 
am coming back in with my favorite, favorite, favorite pigment and I am just applying that reflex that we also used in our scales to my lips as well just to take this look to an entire different level. And then to finish it all off, I am using Fix Plus and spraying this just to set my face. Thank you all so much for the love and for the support and the encouragement on even starting this YouTube channel. Please make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe and stay tuned for more tutorials. Love you guys.